Now, this, the topic of this book is actually the business of the Beatles, which is something that hasn't really been covered too, too much um, in the history of, of Beatles books. Well, people do talk about the business of the Beatles, but it's usually a very a sort of dry and technical discussion of the many contractual disputes and, and problems that they had. What we did is to step back and say, okay, let's look at these guys' career. Uh, it's been moving along now at good speed for almost 50 years. There's a lot of things these guys did right. Can we abstract all the things that they did right and a few of the things that they did wrong into a set of uh, sort of lessons for people to follow uh, as they build their own careers and as they build their own businesses with whatever line it might be in. Was there a specific piece of the history of the business of the band that particularly inspired you to want to write this book? Well, uh, my co-author, Richard Courtney, uh, was talking to his wife and she was telling him a story about a friend of hers who had something very embarrassing happen. And he said to her, well, that she must feel a lot like Paul McCartney felt when John Lennon first showed him the album cover for the Two Virgins album, which is an infamous shot full of frontal nudity uh, and, and all. And his wife got exasperated and said, does everything in life and business relate to the Beatles? And he thought for a second, and he said, yeah, the answer is yes. And so... Uh, that was the initial inspiration behind the book, and uh, he brought me on shortly thereafter to help him execute his vision on that.